we have made it we have arrived just got settled in it's almost six o'clock so i need to hurry up throw on an outfit and we're gonna go down to disney springs which is like downtown disney disney springs i am starving okay i have not ate today so hungry it's been a day full of travel that has been very chaotic i'll tell you guys that maybe if i throw some makeup on but we got here at around like four me and my mom just went and ran over to public just to get like a few things because since we're gonna be at the park two days one day we're gonna go drive over to the beach we're really not gonna be here so we don't need like a supply of food we just need like a few things and i picked up this peace tea the razzleberry literally sent me directly back to high school when i played golf because i used to get one of those after every single golf match i, I think i'm just gonna get a different color and one of these tank tops i think maybe the orange one a pair of shorts they're one simple makeup because it's been a day of traveling okay don't have it in me to do a super cute outfit today Okay, I think we're just gonna go with this simple outfit. Let me change really quick. We'll get ready together in the bathroom as I tell you guys about my whole entire travel experience today. This is the fit. Literally nothing special. I'm tying my hair back so I can do my makeup because I didn't bring any clips or anything. This is the fit. Nothing special. I think I'm going to go in with the refined primer. I feel like something has definitely busted into the makeup bag but i'm gonna choose to ignore that for right now first of all it's just been a chaotic travel day like all in all woke up this morning and our flight was at 12 15 and so i wake up and i'm like okay first of all I fell asleep if you can say that at like three o'clock in the morning last night and i just kept waking up so i never like fully like went to bed if that makes any sense i've like been saying that like if that makes any sense hey it makes perfect sense you're not that you don't speak in a way that's complicated. Fall asleep until like 3 a.m. and I just kept waking up. So I did not get good sleep at all last night. And then finally I woke up because I needed to just like make sure that the week in the life was uploaded and ready to go today. And I didn't have to worry about like, you know, like getting here, uploading it, whatever. I didn't want to have to worry about that. I go straight my hair. I'm like, okay, I need to put the rest of the stuff in my bag, whatever. Then I get a text and they're like, oh, your flight is delayed until like one i think it was like an hour later okay so now i have like a little bit more time like not a lot but we can get to the airport like an hour later then i start using my time irresponsibly of course and so i start going oh let me go try to like get a coffee i don't even need to worry about like packing this suitcase right now like we're all good we're all good. And then I get a text and they're like, oh, just kidding. Your flight's now at 1230. So now it's just 15 minutes later than it was originally supposed to be. So then I'm like, oh crap. I'm starting to regret my decision. I need to go home. I need to throw everything into a suitcase. Like I need to leave. And then they text me and they tell me, just kidding, actually. Just ignore all of the messages we've sent because your flight is on time. So that was just chaotic. And then we get to the airport and honestly I had such a smooth, like the best encounter with TSA that I think I have ever had. Then everything else is like smooth sailing at the airport. We get on the plane, everything's good. And then we have turbulence so bad. Like it is terrible. Like some of the worst turbulence and the pilot, I kid you not, over the intercom. I don't know what's going on. Cause like I'm in contact with people and like this was not supposed to happen. So I don't really know what to tell you guys. Literally what he said. And I was like, so I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out because imagine having bad turbulence and your pilot is essentially like, yeah, I don't know what to tell y'all. Just, it was such bad turbulence and I was just so literally a anxious mess the entire time. Once we got off the plane, it was just chaotic to try to get on the little like train thing to get to a different terminal. And then we were trying to find baggage claim. It was hard to find baggage claim. This guy at the airport that works there, he was helping us and he was so nice. He just takes us throughout the entire airport. But after that, it was smooth sailing. So tired right now. Absolutely. I want nothing more than to just curl up and go to bed, especially because I'm kind of having cramps and I'm just tired and I'm hungry. We're just getting ready and we're going to Disney Springs, downtown Disney. All of that stuff should, shall be an eventful night. Work-wise, I got my Week in the Life video done today and that's already uploaded, so that's good. And then I also edited the 
a Patreon video that I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna work on the 24 hour video. That way I can get that sent over by tomorrow morning. And then I'm probably just going to be filming this whole entire week. I'm in Orlando because we're going to Disney. Oh, I didn't explain it. So we're here because it's Kylie's birthday. And well, her birthday's on Thursday, but basically for her birthday, I was like, let's surprise her with a trip to Disney. So that's what we're doing. We're going to Disney, I think today's Sunday. So I think we're going to Disney Tuesday and Thursday. So tomorrow we're kind of staying around here. Literally there's a water park across the street and in like the little resort neighborhood that we're staying in. On Tuesday, we're going to Magic Kingdom. We're doing one park per day. So we're doing Magic Kingdom Tuesday. And then Wednesday, I'm gonna drive us down to Siesta Key and we're gonna go to the spend the day at the beach. And then Thursday, we're gonna go to Epcot. And then Friday, we go back home. So that's the plan. Um, I just need to throw on some eyebrow makeup and then I'm ready to head out the door. Okay guys, today's vlog is actually sponsored by Squarespace, which you guys know I talk about all of the time on my channel. You guys know the drill, but if you don't, I'm here to tell you all about them. If you guys are looking to build a website for anything, whether you're wanting to do like an online storefront, if you're wanting to run a blog, if you're trying to run like your business and need scheduling, Squarespace has it all figured out for you. First and foremost, I know starting a website can be very scary, very intimidating. Squarespace you don't need to worry about it, okay? All you do is you log on to Squarespace, you go on, they have so many templates for you to choose from. You pick whichever one suits you the best, and then from there, you can even customize it even more to fit you and your branding and however you want it to look. And when you're running your business, one of the most important things is analytics. And so Squarespace offers so many for you guys, whether that is scheduling, you guys can set up scheduling on your website, or if you guys want to see like website traffic, where people are coming from, how many people are visiting your website, etc etc you guys can also see that within their statistics and also something that I find very helpful is how easy it is to link all of your socials for somebody like me who is a content creator it's very important that I kind of have everything all in one place for it to be easily navigating to go to all of my other areas in which I make content so I really like how Squarespace just makes it easy for me to link all of my stuff in one space so if you guys are interested you guys can head on over to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you guys are ready to launch you guys can head to squarespace.com slash Justine Sidwell to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain thank you again so much to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video let's get back into the most magical vlog good morning everybody it's 8 50 we're heading out for the day Okay, let's get in the booster seat. We are about to go to Target right now because we have to pick up. Uh, we're having like a pool day today. At either at our pool or right across the street right there. I have some work to do today. I need to finish editing my 24 hour reading video. Right now we're going to Target though. That's what our main priority is. I feel like we're never escaping Target even on vacation. Yesterday I was driving this at Disney Springs. Was there anything monumental we did at Disney Springs yesterday? We went into World of Disney. Honestly. Planet Hollywood, we ate there. Oh yeah, we ate at Planet Hollywood, which for some <laughs> walked in immediately overstimulated the guy like he was like i really recommend the barbecue ribs so of course i was like cool i am a barbecue rib girly i do love ribs i was like i'll get that they serve it out to me on a picnic table i was i was so perplexed but then we went to world of disney i walked in there and i was like oh my god one there's just so many people and i think that was like overstimulating and then just the fact of how much stuff was in there and then two kids after a day full of travel trying to wrangle them around the whole entire store that was also a nightmare came back home after that and literally everybody just went to bed we're done for yesterday i've been up this morning and now let's go to target i'm gonna say it for the fifth time and back home we ran to target now we're outside swimming pool and hot tub out here so the kids are swimming right now this is my mom hello my sweet oh girl. hey <laughs> oh sorry i had to put my glasses on because you know i'm editing right now we're just chilling out by the pool we're just gonna have a chill day today they're gonna they're gonna put it on us at disney oh they're yeah wear us out. well i need to i need to chill before disney because we're all taking care of the kids but i'm, I'm navigating disney none of us have been there before and so i'm navigating it for us yeah that's i don't have a clue i'll let Des handle all that i don't know where my tripod is so it's like noon right now and i just finished all of the rough cutting for the 24 hour video 
it's noon i kind of just need to take a break and my laptop's about to die so i'm gonna go charge it i think i'm gonna go for a run and try to find like the gym area here and then when i come back i'm going to finish editing that video that i'm wanting to read and stuff like that so i think that's what we're doing when i was at target earlier I found this shirt and I'm honestly thinking maybe for Epcot putting this on and I found some Spider-Man mini ears yesterday at World of Disney so I may make that an outfit even though I packed so many Disney outfits. I need to drink some of this because I haven't had any today. I need to try to find where the gym is at so I think I'm going to run maybe two maybe three miles depending on how I'm feeling. I'm super tired today. I'm gonna throw this on and then charge my laptop and stuff. I literally don't make any sense right now because I'm so tired, like I can't even like try to talk. hours later i'm ready we're gonna head back off to disney springs again tonight and i have all of the necessities but all my other stuff's downstairs this is our outfit of the night that you can hear the kids craziness but we're gonna go Take a picture with your phone. I did. Oh, you did. Ooh, man. You would think I done had a day at Disney today with how tired I am. Ooh, okay. We got back from Disney Springs. A lot of times you guys know traveling with kids, it's a, you know, it's a just, I'm so tired. <laughs> it's like 9 20 right now, and I made the plan. Tomorrow we're going to Magic Kingdom. I said we should leave by 7 40 a.m. tomorrow, so I need to set an alarm for like seven. Cause really all I'm gonna do is like maybe wake up, maybe straighten my hair in a few places, on my outfit and head out the door so I don't need a whole lot of getting ready. I am tired after today. I've been tired since like 2 p.m. I, I don't know, I've been tired for so long. Also, does anybody else get like the sadness if you like think that your outfit looks cute but then like your hair and your makeup just looked like right and then you're like, I can't believe I have to take this off. Like I know tomorrow I'm gonna wake up and it's not gonna look this way. It's so sad. But anyway, I'm gonna go to bed. Face is washed. I just put on the uh, faded topicals. Now I'm trying to use that daily in case any of you guys wanted that update because I've been breaking out really, really bad. I don't wanna talk about that. It might send me down a spiral that I can't afford right now. So I really do need to be heading to bed just because I know that we have a whole entire long day of walking, lines, crowds. My worst nightmare. I'm saying I put the faded topicals cream on and it actually kind of smells terrible. Just did that have my dinner, which was one Slim Jim and one pack of fruit snacks. That doesn't hurt my stomach because last night, literally, let me know down below how you guys sleep. I'm just so interested on how other people sleep. I sleep on my stomach. Like that's what I do. I sleep on my stomach, but not like just like face down. I'm not like planking on my stomach, but like on my stomach to the side. That's how I like to sleep. Last night I was trying to sleep on my back because if I went and laid on my stomach, my stomach started hurting so bad to the point where I actually kind of felt nauseous a little bit. And I was like, what is going on? I really, I did not know what was happening. Um, today was just a chill day. I feel like we needed this just kind of like chill, just <sighs> ended up sending over the 24 hour reading video. So hopefully that gets all ready to go. I want to post that tomorrow. Hopefully, if not, hey, that's life. It's a really new thing. Everybody's, everybody laughs because like, I've just been saying that all the time. Like if there's a scenario, I just go, that's life. Like what can, what can you do? Truly. Really. I'm having a great girl all the time. Very excited to go to Magic Kingdom. I was saying this, but like as a kid, I never thought about going to Disney World, Disneyland, whatever. And then I remember the first time that I ever thought to myself like, ooh, I want to go to Disney was when I watched the Full House episode when they went to Disney and when I saw the Boy Meets World episode of when they went to Disney. Nothing else made me want to go to Disney other than those two 90s sitcom episodes. So it's crazy that for the first time. I'm gonna see that tomorrow. Crazy, but I have to be up pretty early tomorrow. So maybe I'll try Joffrey's coffee because see that everybody always says like Joffrey's coffee is so good. So hopefully the line's not like so long because I kind of need coffee like as soon as I wake up. Like to have caffeine 
Oh yeah, that's bad. That's a bad thing to admit. But you know, I don't care to drink another one of these before I go to bed because I feel like my water intake the past few days has been barely even existent. I got my mom on the Sawala. I got my mom on the Stanley Cup. And then I got my mom and me a Wallace and she was drinking out of hers earlier and she's like, I really, really like this. And I was like, yeah, slay. See you guys in the morning. Bright and early. Find the light switch in this room. This room is literally, I think it's supposed to be like the master. Like if you're like a family, this was probably be the parents room. These are my pajamas. This shirt is so cute. I got it from PacSun. Did anybody else watch Seven Supergirls? Oh my god, that is so niche. If you watched Seven Supergirls, me and you would have been best friends because I loved Seven Supergirls and I loved, I think her name was Kaylin. And I remember her parents had like a chair, like a big chair in their room, I remember. And I just thought to myself like, wow, I used to watch her house tour over and over and over again because I thought that it was the coolest thing ever. Kind of feel like my stomach's hurting. Gonna go to bed or try to. Try not to have my stomach hurt. Okay, bye. Disney day. Okay, I need to touch up my hair and throw on some makeup. Doing the overall look. Let me go ask my mom which shirt I should wear because I don't know. Has been decided. We're gonna go with the purple Mickey and Minnie. Okay guys, we are all ready. The shoes that we're going with. We have my Hoka's. Really need to be getting out the door because it's past 7.40. Bringing some extra film because I'm bringing both Polaroids, film camera, digital camera, phone. And then I have all my overalls, my little mini Mickey shirt that you literally can't even see. That's okay. It's 9.30. How long do you, let me see how long this line is to meet. We're in the line to meet Mirabelle. Right now, we made it into Magic Kingdom. All of those lines that you see all over TikTok, that's not even true. It's not that bad yet. No. Well, like, no, I was seeing the lines on TikTok that yeah. was like, even to get into the park, it was terrible. But we got the park, no problem. Security was a little, yeah. whatever, but I just got a, we have the Disney Plus for the aerial ride and that's where we're going right now. And then after that, I need a coffee in the snack of some sort. What's her name? Mirabelle. And Kai Mirabelle. Kai. Mirabelle. And I went to Joffrey's and got a coffee. I also got the girls a strawberry donut. That's huge. <laughs> it was almost like comically big, but I'm trying this. It's pretty good. Needs to be energized. Kind of hungry though. Our next lightning lane opened up, so we can choose what we want to do for a lightning lane option. That you can hear the audio, but we're about to go to Buzz Lightyear and Monsters Inc. I don't know what we're doing after that. We went into the Monsters Inc. thinking that it was a ride, and it wasn't. And I literally almost freaked out because it was an interactive experience where they would randomly pan to somebody in the audience and come up with the microphone and speak to them. And the anxiety that was coursing through my body, I was like, we need to leave. We I can't. To, we, had to, we had to jump out of there real quick. Before. <laughs> I was like, okay. if somebody comes yeah. up to me, it's going to be embarrassing because I'm not going to do it. I'm going to look yeah. and go, no. And then jokes at my expense are make me are going to make me sweat. Yeah. I don't know what area we're in in Magic Kingdom. We're kind of like by the castle. By the uh, Princess Fairy. Look, you can see the... 
Princess Carousel Hall. So the thing is, is that we can try to meet the Disney princesses and then see if the Bibbidi Boppity Boutique yeah. is going to let Kylie and Mila go in. They're getting on the merry-go-round right now, so do you want to go hop inside of a store, try to find some treats, I think is what we're about to do. I want to see if I can find some cute ears. I think I may try Main Street, the shops that are on Main Street, because those are just like Disney Princess centered, but they didn't even have any that I like. If I was going to choose Disney Princess, it'd be Rapunzel, and they didn't even have any Rapunzel in there. Got a Lightning Lane for $12.50 um, to meet Tiana and Rapunzel, so we're going to do that, but right now it's about 12, so we have a little while before then. It sucks though because you don't want to try to get on a ride and get in the line because then you're scared that the parade is at three so I kind of want to get over to Main Street too that way we can secure a good spot for the parade. It is literally like seven o'clock right now. I can't even remember the last thing that I vlogged, but we had a little bit of a meltdown with the kiddos and it was just a day. But me and my mom wanted to come back because I looked it up and it says, I'm hoping that it's right, but it says that like with your whatever, we didn't get park hopper, but they said like even just with your tickets, as long as you're going to like the same park, you can like leave and come back. So we were like, oh, we can just drop them off and then we can come back and like go to Main Street, go into the shops, see the, uh, fireworks. See the fireworks and stuff. I didn't even tell you guys what happened. We're going to the car and we, when we were going to go drop everybody off, I get there and I'm like, oh, this is where we parked. And I'm trying to unlock the car and I realize that the car lights aren't turning on like to unlock it and the car's not unlocking. The key isn't working. So then I thought maybe just the key battery is dead and we get the little secret key out and we unlock the car. No, the battery was dead. The, ba the car battery is dead. I tried to call the rental car company. Literally, I called them just short of 20 times. Nobody answered. And then we got one of the security guards to jump the car. I was able to get back home after probably 30 minutes of waiting and trying to figure out what was going on. So it's been a little bit of a chaotic day. So I've been having bad chest pains. And at one point earlier, I literally was about to have an anxiety attack in the middle of the theme park. I don't know what's going on, but we're going to see if we can get back into the park. Hopefully we can. What I looked up said that, like, if you're not park hopping, you can just go into the same park, and that makes sense. That Joffrey's coffee that I tried earlier was so good. I drank it in literally, like, four minutes, and usually I'm a slow sipper on my coffee, but this is how you know coffee's good. If I drink it in less than, like, ten minutes, that's how you know a coffee is good to me, because when something's good, I just literally drink it all. I could literally go for another coffee. I'm so tired. If anybody was yelling at the screen when I said, oh, we're gonna go get beignets, I did just find out that they are in fact not here. They're at a resort. Maybe they're at Epcot though. They may be in Epcot. guys Good morning we are about to leave to go to the beach driving us two hours to siesta key today so I'm deliriously out of it don't need to get into it me and my mom went back for the fireworks i tried dole whip did not like it and then we watched the fireworks and we literally just watched the beginning of them and then left fireworks made me cry literally started crying and I looked at my mom and then I started deliriously laughing and we just joyously walked out of there. You guys saw all of that. It was a great time and um, tomorrow
tomorrow we're gonna go to Epcot, but we're not gonna be there for long tomorrow. But today we're about to go to the beach, go to see the key. OMG, okay, I need to, I'm back in the car, just put everything up. I gotta go pick everybody up. It has truly been a day. I am so freaking hot, I can't tell if I'm sunburned or not. So that is also absolutely amazing. A two hour drive back home, back to the place that we're staying in Orlando because we came to Siesta Key for the day. And it was so good though. I listened to the Five Star Weekend most of the day. I picked up normal people for a video that I'm filming. I don't know what we're doing for the rest of the night because I think we will probably get back to the place at around like seven or so. I'm gonna get a sub sandwich. I've wanted like a sub sandwich, which is such an odd thing to just like want. I need to finish this today. I thought that I was going to, uh, I'm not gonna get stressed out actually. I'm not gonna get stressed, not going to worry about it. Okay, yesterday my Polaroid did a weird thing. The way that this shot, but. Okay, this room's a mess. Like there's so much that needs to be taken care of today. <sighs> I am extremely sunburnt. Yes, I put on sunscreen yesterday, but I think I like fell asleep and just my face is like swollen too. <laughs> this is not good, but I put like I'm not sunburnt anywhere else or maybe a little bit. I am aware we don't need to comment or say anything. OMG, you're so sunburnt. I know. I think I'm gonna try to wear this shirt today. We're gonna see. I don't know y'all, what should I wear? Guys, what shall I wear? Do I go downstairs and ask everybody again because I can make no decisions for myself? Yes. Maybe if I could find some Spider-Man ears, I could wear the Spider-Man shirt. I came to the decision that I should probably just wear the Spider-Man shirt. I'm gonna wear the Spider-Man shirt. I'm about to maybe try to air wrap my hair since it's still kind of a little wet, you know, like when you sleep on it and it's still wet in the morning. But this morning I woke up and I went, I woke up at like six and I went downstairs and decorated the downstairs for Kylie's birthday because today is actually Kylie's birthday. So today we're going to Epcot because the girl's favorite princess is Elsa and that's where like all of the frozen stuff is. I have us a Genie Plus booked for 2.15 for the Frozen ride. We are leaving in the morning, so we need to come here. The girls are gonna wanna swim, and, and so we need to come back here, pack up everything. And I actually think that me and Emily are gonna go to World of Disney and Disney Springs because Mila's birthday is at the beginning of April, so there's a few things that we saw the other day, like to get Mila for her birthday, so we're gonna, we have to go without Mila, and then we're gonna try to either like ship those back or just like pack them in the suitcase. To yeah, I'm about to get ready put my camera on charge. <laughs> I look, uh, hopefully my makeup can cover this up. even spoke to you guys today went to Epcot today and it was very surprising for me because I always looked at Magic Kingdom as like ooh, I can't wait to go to Magic Kingdom so we went there first but today we went to Epcot mostly because since it was Kylie's birthday and Elsa's her favorite most favorite princess and she wanted to meet her today so we did that but just the whole entire experience of like I also I just cut her cake she had chocolate cake so if you see chocolate on my arm 
that's what it is. The whole entire experience, like we parked and we just walked right into the park. You didn't have to get on the monorail and all of that stuff because sometimes that stuff is just a little bit overwhelming, especially when you're traveling with kids. So we just also like that like where we parked, it was right near the park entrance. I've been panicking about this a little bit after I saw on TikTok, everybody was posting about the crowds at Disney. They were like, last week, that's all I saw on my free page was how busy and packed the crowds were. Honestly, as we went the past, like the, the crowds have not been bad. And then I saw somebody post on TikTok, my mom was telling me, this week is kind of a lull. Like, you know, most people were either on spring break last week and the week before, and then this week's kind of a lull. And then next Next week kind of starts that spring break crowd up again. I picked like the perfect week to go. My family, like all of us, we were like, oh yeah, our general consensus is that we kind of liked Epcot more. As we were walking out of the park, I picked up a Joffrey's coffee. Good, good. Today was and is our last day. Tomorrow we're gonna wake up and go to the airport. Honestly, shout out to my makeup because you cannot tell how extremely badly sunburnt I am right now, but I am very, very sunburnt. Uh, my face, I don't know if it's still swollen, but this morning it was literally swollen from how sunburnt I was. But right now, I think we're going to dinner in a little bit. I'm gonna go to Disney Springs because Mila's birthday, I think I already said this, is at the beginning of April. And so we spotted a few things that like we wanna get her. So our plan is, is to go get that then we're gonna go ship them back home and come back here and then we're probably gonna go to dinner i think we're gonna eat at the boathouse i've been seeing people post about the lobster roll and i'm not a seafood person but i literally want to try the lobster roll strictly because of happy place because in happy place they talk about like the lobster rolls and just like in maine talking about like lobster i don't know why when something is like all over tiktok shop and stuff <laughs> this lumi like deodorant i swear coming from an anxious sweating person and just like somebody who sweats a lot period i feel like it's worked better than any deodorant it's hot out there today so i'm also going to spray some of that we're gonna head out i think i'm gonna go over to disney springs okay guys we have officially made it to my least favorite part of any vacation and that is having to pack up to leave i have been working on downstairs like cleaning up all of the stuff that the girls have had going on downstairs and all of that now it's time to pack up my stuff first and foremost before i can pack any of my stuff i need to like wash my face and all of that up to skims because this bra broke okay i need to wash my face really quick i'm going to change into some pajamas. I feel like you can start to see the sunburn peeking through because it's the end of the day and this makeup's wearing off. Now that my makeup's off, you can still see how absolutely sunburnt I am. And yes, it hurts like really bad. Washing my face was actually painful. I am now going to lay down. I have my big suitcase packed, my outfit that I'm putting on in the morning packed, had to keep out my deodorant, then we'll be good to go. It is literally 10.40 p.m. right now, so not too bad. I'm gonna lay down, watch some parks and rec, and then we'll wake up in the morning and leave. We're going with this one, because I'm feeling this one more today. 6.37 right now, and it's so funny because it's raining today. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. It's not funny because it's 6 30 and raining today it's funny because i set my alarm because i'm bad with time in the sense that i wake up like way too early for things or like i'll leave way too early I guess is a good thing but i got no sleep last night because i just kept waking up and checking the time checking the time checking the time i flight at 11 15 so i was like okay we need to be there by nine it's like okay we have to do all that like i just want to account account for enough time. I was like, okay, so we need to leave the house by like 8.20 because the airport is like 30 minutes away, but you need to account for more time, all of that. So I just kept on waking up like every 30 minutes to check the time. So it was really fun to do. We're about to leave. I'm, I think I'm the only one up. You guys know, me and my crew mix, I got this one. It is so cute though, from Disney. It is literally adorable. I think this year's little like thing, I think they have a theme every year. This year's is like play in the park. So this is my traveling home outfit. Grab a claw clip or something. I don't know, do you guys see? My sunburn is a little bit better right now, but going home. 
honestly I don't feel like how I usually do when I'm leaving vacations where I feel this like super sad feeling like when we leave the house and just like this empty sad feeling and it might be because this vacation like we were just constantly doing stuff I don't even know how much footage I got or how good this vlog is was just we were just like go 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 like sometimes it just like wasn't even enough time to really think about like you know that and also living in the moment and stuff more thinking about going home and getting back to work I but i got this cute little look at how cute this is isn't that adorable this is from moana moana was like the last disney princess in my like actual like kid era i can remember being in sixth grade and when they announced like the Moana movie and she was the new Disney princess, I literally remember seeing it like in class. Like I remember when it got announced. And because of that, I've always like really kind of had this special thing for Moana because like you guys know, this is kind of sad and it just made me think of it while we were at Disney. But like, I've seen the post where it's like one day you like played with your dolls for the last time and didn't know that was like the last time or one day you did this and didn't know it was the last time and it just kind of Moana's always kind of reminded me of that in the sense of like being an actual like you know like a kid in elementary school and liking like you know like the Disney princesses in the way that you do when you're a kid and Moana was kind of like the last one for me so I've always really really loved the Moana movie and this little pig I forget it. I forget the name. For some reason, when I watch it, it always reminds me of Charlie. So I wanted to get a little souvenir to bring home, and it is so absolutely adorable. All in all, our Disney trip was super fun, and it also, like, I've never been to Disney before, and it was something that I always wanted to do as a kid, so it was super cool to be able to go. I used to watch Alicia Marie, and she used to go all the time. Of course, she was going to the one in California, but I remember, like, watching her vlogs growing up all the time, and I was like, oh my gosh, like, I really want to go to Disney. I'm going to be just like Alicia Marie, and I want to go to Disney. Just all of that type of stuff so it was super cool to go and like experience it in real life i do want to go to the california one because i want to go to adventures i want to go to adventures campus and i want to see the spider-man that's there like i want to witness all of that and i want to go to cars land because cars is one of the things that i fall asleep to every night so i also want to go to the california one to see like cars land and go to all of that so i think one day maybe next year i'll go to the california one or maybe in the fall we'll do a disney land trip because i've always wanted to go to disney in the fall time because of all their fall decorations you guys know how much i love fall so who knows i just plan on heading home today probably just getting a little bit of a reset in editing this video focusing on filming cleaning up my room putting all this stuff away that i feel like one of the worst things about coming home from a vacation is having to put everything up and like go back into regular life so i'm gonna end the vlog here just so i can get this posted on time for you guys so if you guys enjoyed today's vlog then i'm glad but remember to give it a like comment subscribe all the youtube stuff you guys want to do see you guys when i see you